former Top Gear presenter Quentin Wilson is urging London Mayor Sadiq Khan not to go ahead with plans to impose London's congestion charge on electric vehicles. Until now, they've been exempt. Of course, EV drivers can currently register for a complete exemption from the, from the fee, which is 15 quid a day, although the exemption period ends on Christmas Day next year. TfL, Transport for London, is expected to announce this week that income from congestion charge dropped by 12.2 million over the past year. Quentin Wilson joins me now. Quentin, afternoon to you. Look, I'll, I'll say this at the outset. I think we said it last time we spoke. You were one of the... Uh, it's not like you're a petrol head or something. You're one of the early adopters. For, I think the first journalist I ever spoke to that owned an electric car. Um, just So what are the specific reasons why Mr Khan is not allowed to now include electric within that excruciating charge of 15 quid a day? Well, it's a good question, Ian, and it's the one I'm asking, because, look, I, I, here's the thing. The congestion charge was supposed to reduce congestion and improve air quality yep. and the amount of, of, of particulates and, 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 and toxic chemicals in our air. So EVs do this, don't they? And we've seen, and, and you're in London just as I am, how many electric taxis there are, how many private hire cars, how many vans, and it's made a really, really significant difference. So... If we are committed to clean air in London, why are we stopping this single incentive for for private buyers to 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 buy EVs and use them in the capital? Why why suddenly have we changed tack and said actually no, we're not going to have these anymore because the air quality is good enough? Well, it's yeah. not. You know? So I'm just asking the question and saying he needs to reconsider. I mean, the consideration from his point of view, I would have thought, Quentin, is only financial, isn't it? Well, you would think so. I mean, that that would be the argument that, you know, that, that, that the congestion charge isn't making as much money as it is because people are driving less. But then there's the cost of all that toxic air to public health. So that, you know, increased revenue from EVs in London, compare that to the amount of money that we spend in the national health for respiratory diseases, it's tiny. And then it's not a good look either. If you've campaigned so vociferously about uh, ULES and yeah. then suddenly... You, you take away this this exemption for cleaner, much, much cleaner the, cars. The cleanest, yes. Completely, yeah. And people say, oh, no, they're not clean because the particulates from their tyres and, and brakes, well, they the brakes, you know, don't wear. They're 150,000 miles for a set of brake pads because there's very little dust because they're regen. And particulates from tyres at, like, three miles an hour in London traffic, you know, it's much better to have these cars rather than some van or car doing, you know, pedestrian-level pollution from its diesel engine. It's interesting You, th th this subject came up today. I was, just as I was coming into work, a, a big double-decker bus passed me. It was a hybrid bus. There are, of course, full electric versions of these. When I look at black cabs, a uh, huge uh, increase in electric cars. And, of course, uh, d delivery drivers, companies using electric now. You see a lot of that. Um, and I was thinking, that, you know, the... The, the amount of congestion, it must be unrecognisable from what we were 10 or 20 years ago. I mean, it, and that doesn't include, of course, other factors like how we build buildings, how we construct things, uh, rules in insulation, and goodness knows what, what we do, factories that once upon a time were right there in the middle of the capital, belching out all manner of horrible stuff. All of that is gone. I mean, we must be nearly there to solving the problem, right? Well, nearly there, but but we mustn't stop doing it, and that's why you know this is just so important because it would discourage people um, to 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 drive electric cars in London because if they've got to pay fifteen quid on top of ULES, yeah, um, yeah. You know, so look, I'm I'm just saying this is this is nuts. It goes against. It's counterintuitive, um, and I remember as you, as you do walking along the Marylebone Road, what 10, 15 years ago, and you could taste the pollution in your right. mouth. Yeah. That, that metallic taste and we have made such great strides in that that we really do need to keep it on and to stop it now seems what churlish yeah are we ever going to have a world though or you know a road system that is completely pollution free i mean there's a there, there is such a thing as mother nature dealing with things that happen in our atmosphere like it does in the sea it can deal with oil in a rather impressive way uh, that humans probably can't um it's a great aspiration. Of course, no, I don't know anybody who doesn't want clean air. Everybody wants it. But we have to also be realistic, don't we? 
we do have to be realistic and absolutely right we will always burn stuff i mean wood burning stoves and things like that yeah. but everything we can do in this this transport thing the car thing is the simplest easiest fix you know that th there will be toxins going into the atmosphere forever and there are countries who do much much more than we do yeah. but we can make an industry we can make you know jobs and and gdp out of this because we're good at it in the uk and 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 we lead the world in in this kind of intellect and mm. innovation so let's let's not throw it all away because we want a little bit more revenue for our our congestion charge i'm just asking the question and wanting an answer there it is fair enough on that point quentin as ever thank you always good to talk to quentin wilson former top gear presenter on